and Zoe in the morning game. All right, we're playing Borderlands 3. Sounds good. It's a great game. Uh, I tried to do a stream the day it came out, but um, I guess I had to reset my stream key um, on Twitch. So I did it not one times, not two times, but three times. Three hours worth of material. <sighs> three hours of interesting stories and tales about gaming and whatever the fuck was going on. Lost to the sands of time. But luckily, today, I got this fucking thing going. At least I think I do. It says elapsed time 53 seconds. So, let's do this. I'm running through here a couple different times because the boss is such a motherfucker that uh, I'm having trouble with him. He kicked my ass a couple times. And, uh, yeah. Now I just gotta get beefy enough to kick his ass. I honestly didn't expect this thing to work. So, hi! It's like I twitched to people, or tweeted to people, hey, I'm playing on Twitch. And the reality was, no, I wasn't. I was just jerking off. <laughs> Christ. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. I did. You can see what I did uh, playing this game. Uh, I'd like to apologize to the people who sent me party invites that I didn't respond to. My girlfriend was playing uh, yesterday and uh, I didn't see the messages until like late and then by then I was like, oh well, fuck it. So, sorry to my buddies. Sorry to the people from Idaho. Sorry to the people from New Jersey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not as sorry as this guy's gonna be that I put a bullet in his ass. I'm a beast master. Master and the beasts. I have no blood, so I'm taking I got the flying birds. The birds are great. Love the birds. They kick some ass. Like the shotgun, shooting them up, shooting them in the face, killing, killing, killing. Those ice guys are a bitch. Seriously, you gotta shoot them in the back, the thing, the backpack. That's what gets them. You get a critical every time when you do that. Obviously, they give me quite a bit of a headache. The ice man. Ice this motherfucker. Their shields recover like very quickly. Like if you if they go you go off the screen and come back, you'll be back a full shield. This son of a bitch. They teleport all over the place. Homing weapons help against them. Uh, yeah. Uh, where's my cool gun? Gotta get the cool gun out. Not the bleeding edge popular boardroom or the undermining popular boardroom. Um, my system. Where the hell is it? Gotta get the right weapon for the right situation. Ah, uh, the clockwork end system. 
the homing assault rifle. Shit. Look at that. I am amazed that this worked today. I hope it is. I hope it's working. I hope it's not gonna be uh, some bullshit, you know, where I get it to the end and then it says, oh, not only did it not uh, broadcast, but it didn't record anything either. I fucking hate making online videos anymore. There's always some bullshit fucking me up, pissing me off, and I've got kind of an anger problem, a little bit, you know? And I just, uh, I need to relax, you know, take a load off. That's why I play these kinds of games. So I could just run around and do whatever the fuck I want. Blasting motherfuckers. Because I ain't blasting no one in real life. That's the thing. I have a clear delineation between reality and fantasy. Some of you don't. Some of you think, oh, well, in a video game, I'm going to do the same thing with my brother. I'm going to go to school and shoot everyone up. Don't do that. They will blame fucking video games some more. Oh, well, this Grand Theft Auto is ruining our country. No, people are ruining our country. Assholes are ruining our country. Christ. Yeah, this boss is like a uh, icebreaker, pyro guy mixed together. He's a son of a bitch. Lootables, lootables everywhere. I run around so fast because there's so many of these boxes. It's like, if you stay, if you stood there to watch each one of them come out to make sure there is uh, some shit, you're going to be there a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to put me on ice? I'll put your ass on ice. This is strange. Um, streaming online because I'm talking to myself in my living room. I never do that. But here I am, talking to myself in the living room. People probably think I'm crazy. Whoever's uh, on the floor under me, they probably think, what's this guy doing? What am I doing, indeed? Indeed. My monster is named Pickle Pepper. It's also the name of my horse and Pathfinder slash D and D for the uninitiated. But basic Pathfinder is basically D and D, same kind of game, just uh, different rule books and stuff. I used to play Dungeons and Dragons. Now I play Pathfinder. It's just uh, well, they've changed it too much. Where I, and uh, I just didn't, I was like, okay, I'm ready to try something new, something different. Another one I used to play was Hunter the Reckoning and um, Vampire the Masquerade. Those were really cool ones. Be a vampire, be a monster hunter. Be whatever you want to be. In America... I hate those little shield guys. You gotta shoot them because they'll just keep giving the other dude shield. Uh, I didn't see him. 
Haha, <laughs> suck it. Those guys, when you kill them, they explode. But it takes a little while, there's a bit of a delay. So you might think, oh, he's not gonna explode. Because the heavy gunner type dudes don't explode. Just the like the pyro guys and the the ice guy. Hack him! Hack him! I got my American flag! Knife! Kill him with the flag! Kill him with old glory! I got the American flag skin on because that's my thing. I love America. And I am a uh, election correspondent. I got a column at uh, headlinepoets.com, which is pretty cool. But you know, I don't want to lit. I don't want to spend all of my time talking about politics. Fuck that shit. So that's why I got shit like this. No politics in a game. Although this game is very anti-corporate, which is nice. Fuck huge multinational corporations. Sons of bitches, Starbucks, fucking Walmart, fucking all them motherfuckers, McDonald's. I had some great products that we absolutely need to have all the time. But then, you know, they'll fuck us over any which way they can. A burger with cyanide in it? Poison. Who knows what'll happen? I like you better dead. But video games and fast food go together like weed and video games. Speaking of which, excuse me for a second. Oh wait, it's right here. I got my weed. This is Critical Purple Kush. Boom, legal weed from a place where it's legal. And it's the Weed with the highest THC in the store. That's nice. Yeah. Weed and video games. Yes, it's early as fuck in the morning. It's 8.08. And yes, I'm smoking weed. That's how I roll. Okay. I'm bipolar, so like this stuff, weed helps me um, a lot. You know, it's in my blood. My dad smokes weed every day, you know. So it was, I mean, really, like that's his, one of his favorite things in the world. He's watching this. Hi, old man. Shit. Oh. Let's get this going. Kill some motherfuckers. Yeah, perfect shot. Yeah, this kind of game, like I want to play multiplayer and I might play it later today, but uh, I'm apprehensive about it because I get really frustrated with decisions people make in games like this. I'm like, why did you do that? And I have my own way of doing shit, because being bipolar, I do everything a little bit differently. My problem solving abilities are strange. Skewed sometimes. And I just don't understand people. Either they're going too slow or they're going too fast. Story of my fucking life. Loot the six gal galaxies. Open lootables. Complete. Good. Give my shotgun to the balls. Shotgun to the balls. It's the thing, you find all these crazy weapons, because there's a billion different weapons in this game. You find them, and then you're like, oh, let me look at that. Then it distracts you from what you should be looking at. I like the money bomb. Hey, 
Damn. But I feel so keyed up when I'm done after when I play a game like this. It's like bah, bah, bah. It's all that adrenaline. Misplaced adrenaline. My body thinks it's in a battle, the reality is I'm sitting in my living room with a controller in my hand. <laughs> Whatever works, right? Whatever keeps you occupied while you're waiting to die. Except I'm waiting to live. I'm living. That's what I'm doing. And that all um, has a lot to do with a well-balanced life where you don't do too much of any one thing because too much of any one thing is bad. Except weed. Well, it depends on the situation. Sometimes. Sometimes weed works for somebody. All the time. Other times, they can't do shit. They can't do shit ever. Do, 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 do. Alright. Let's roll. This is where the monks are. Hello, monks. I already completed the mission at the distillery where they're like, they're having liquor and there's all the bug monsters in there. You gotta kill them all. Oh, I killed the shit out of them. I killed the living shit and piss out of them. Oh, I love that my dog is also an American dog, too. Ah, I should have tweeted and said, uh, I'm going on live. But, uh, I didn't know whether or not I was going to be on live. Live. But you never know. With this shit. Don't hold back. To say that this game's chaotic is an understatement. They throw so much shit at you at once. Crazy. Crazy. I love my doggy, Mr. Pickle Pepper. Name of my dog. Shit, broken shield. I don't want to spend too much time in the option screens because, hey, there's people watching here. Yeah, blast them. Well, there's not people watching right now, but there will be at some point when I upload this probably to YouTube or something. That's okay. A lot of times I get uh, I get sidetracked when I see people coming in and they start... Uh, sending their comments, and I'm like, ooh, should I answer that? I'm like, nah, yeah, nah. Especially since I do a lot of uh, poetry videos, and I'm like reading off of a paper, so that can get problematic. Reading off a book. Chopped under the ass. The hell just hit me. So there's like this side missions uh, where you're supposed to like go and find these like recordings from this guy and then after you find all three of them in the world, uh, there's like supposed to be like a drop point, a weapons cache or something where you're supposed to find cool stuff. But I've done it on a couple worlds and I was not able to get to the um, the box, the drop box. They put it in such a fucking hard to reach spot 
standing there for fucking ever, like thinking, but, duh, what, what should I do? Where do I go? Climbing buildings. And the map doesn't help. It's just like, it's separated from the, like, it'll be like a little island separated from the rest of the map. Like, ooh, look at this. Or it'll be like another level, and then there won't be any stairs going up to it. What a pain in the balls. Gotta get my loot. Gotta get my loot. Gotta get it, gotta get it. Do 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 Alright. Gonna be a problem when I face this boss. But I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna do what I can if I get my ass kicked, then I get my ass kicked. Hand it to me. Hey, I'll go left for now. Oh. Let's go this way. Oh, is that where I came from? Fuck. No, that's not where I came from. I just gotta kill as much as I can until I run out of guys and then I'm gonna go fix the boss again. Sometimes you gotta know when to run. Sometimes you gotta know when to do everything else. game is when you die you come back if you're able to kill a dude while you're down and fight for your life mode Die. 
This is what you do in a game like this. You face the, you know, you face a lot of pushback, and then you gotta hunker down, and then you gotta strike. Stick and move, coming in, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Get my toilet gun out for a second, because why not? The poor to poop for 5,000. Classy. Hello, mugs. Hmm, I need more distance. That's uh, a poop gun that I got from uh, one mission where you gotta save a guy from you stuck in a porta potty. It's very strange, very strange. This is the first uh, broadcast I've done in a long time, as far as games are concerned. Well, what do you want? It's been a rough time for my family, and just a lot of stress. And I've been concentrating on my writing. I'm doing a 365-day uh, writing challenge. And uh, we'll be at 365 days on November 1st. Crazy. It was in response to all these internet challenges that I see all the time. And uh, I thought, why not do one that doesn't involve eating Tide Pods or drinking bleach? Or, I don't know, dumping a fucking bucket of shit on my head. Dramatic bang stick. Like to sort it by score, so I know what I'm doing. The undermining popular boardroom is rock. Knew there was a reason I kept you around. Did I get turned around. Yeah, yeah, I did. I really got fucking turned around. in this game, you're running around and you're like, oh, you see a trail of uh, unopened lootable boxes and you're like, oh, I haven't been through here. The reality is, yeah, you did, motherfucker. People who are really into FPSs and RPGs together. It's given me a, a nice boost where um, Fallout 64, 74, 72, or whatever the fuck it was, didn't. I didn't play that game, but I've certainly watched some people playing it on the, online, and it didn't look very fun at all. 
Bethesda needs to um, learn from that mistake and just move on to the fucking next project. Seriously. Maybe the next Elder Scrolls or something. But don't make it fucking... Oh, they already made it online. Before. I've never played it. Maybe it's good. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. I learned that in my game days, if I haven't heard of something, usually it's not very good. Low quality. Let's do this. So everyone can watch me die. Watch me die. Watch me die. Take you. Pocket rats. I'm not gonna pretend like I think I'm gonna win uh, this time when I fight this guy. So I didn't even get these damn shields down last time. Same thing with Killable, who I took probably took like six or seven deaths to kill. And the only way I did that was with, uh, I had like a shock, a sh shock resistant shield on, and uh, I ended up killing him in fight for your life mode. Just barely. Just fucking barely. Stab him with my gun. Stab him with my fun. Very nice. Oh, they're coming. Oh, badass heavy pyro attack. Fuck him. Deal with these. Man, that guy is tough. Thank God for my, my doggy, my monster dog. Because he would have been way harder to kill if I didn't have him distracted by, uh, America dog. The American Skag. That's the name of the race. In this. America Knife. America Knife. Skateboarding little guy. Not anymore. me of Halo. A lot of things in this game kind of remind me of Halo. And also Far Cry. And also Fallout. I guess it's like a mix of different things. But it comes out very nice smoothie. Very nice video game smoothie. It must be good because I have trouble getting into things anymore. Like, I've been playing a lot of my retro games on Switch. And I uh, really like them a lot. Like the main newer games that I've been playing or have played in the last few months are um, Zelda Breath of the Wild, 
Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, earlier than that was Red Dead Redemption 2. That was a good one. I hit it with the money bomb, but I don't think it did anything. But the life bleed from you. into a gelatinous paste. Gotta check the trash cans, check the jump piles, check it all. There's the money. What the hell is that? The inexpensive Zuka? Zuka? What the fuck? I don't know how many gun combinations are there. Someone told me it was a million. There's a lot of guns. Clearance keen fire. Yeah, actually, I'll actually pick it up because I'll probably end up going back to the start and I need to sell some stuff and run back through here again because this guy is a son of a bitch. Gotta do the grind. Grind it like it's work or something. Well, some games feel more like work than others. It feels like a game. Yeah, I didn't know that the bank um, is shared between characters on the same account. So when I found a bunch of stuff for sirens in my bank that I used for the first time, I was like, what the hell is this? I took the stuff out and sold it. Turns out it was my girlfriend's stuff. Because we don't have uh, separate accounts. Why do, we really, why do you really need to have separate accounts? Unless you had them before you met. This is the writing man's only. Slash gaming man's only. It's writing man's only on PlayStation Network, gaming man's only on Twitch and uh, Twitter. Where I do my gaming tweets and all my great thoughts. Some greater than others. Am I going the right way? God, I'm going the wrong way again. Yeah. 
My sense of direction is horrible. Even with a fucking map. All these boxes of stuff everywhere. It's very nice. I think this is the last spot before you face the boss. I hear you, beast. Yeah, headshot. Love them headshots. Exploding watermelons. Oh, a badass trooper. Fuck him. Six minutes until my laundry's done. And I gotta put it in the. Go down to the dryer. It's already in the dryer, but it probably needs a second cycle because that's how the shit is. The captain! You and the captain make it happen. Rockets. Oh, right. Yeah, it only has 32%. Uh, accuracy. giving me grief. Big time. I got three minutes until my alarm. I'm not going to win. Don't say that, Alex. You must win. Do I?
Oh, there it is. Fuck. Well, I said what was gonna happen, and then it happened. Call me a prophet, call me a man looking to the future. Call me a realist. Let's see how much that cost me. $598. Not too bad, but not too great either. So, this has been a broadcast of Borderlands 3. Manzoni in the morning gaming. Like, follow, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great day. Thank you.